This is truly unbelievable. First of all, the Bucs give up 78 points in the first half. Do you know how hard that is to do? Malik Beasley, Steph Curry setting a screen. You got to switch this. What is there even to think about? Transition defense. What is Brooke Lopez doing? Giannis is taking Podzemski right here. Okay, cool. So Brooke Lopez, I'm staying up at the top of the key, ready to guard. Where's Brooke Lopez going? You know, this is unbelievable. The Warriors are inbounding the ball off of a make. The Bucs just scored and they're inbounding. Could Giannis get back here? Okay, Giannis wants to walk back. Could Brooke Lopez get to Draymond Green then? Could Malik Beasley not stand in the middle of nowhere and take Draymond Green? Really? As Steph Curry, this is coaching, as he cuts through Malik Beasley, keep your back to the baseline. So Steph Curry's in front of you, and you're seeing ball and man. <clears throat> Already screwing it up. Backs to the ball. Now Steph Curry's not in front of you, and that was hideous. Damian Lillard, first of all, you're switching. So stop shoving the screener. Just be ready to guard Steph Curry. Your body momentum's going towards the screener because you're shoving him. So now Steph Curry's got the angle here. Stop. Do you know you have help, right? Jay Crowder's going to be in help. Get your hands off Steph Curry's back. Show your hands. Force him into help. You also have help right there with Malik Beasley on the strong side of the floor. But you got your hands on Steph Curry's back. Easy. This is a particularly kind of awful. First of all, it'd be nice if Giannis and Jay Crowder would sprint back, seeing as how Brooke Lopez is going to be stuck on Steph Curry here. Why are you walking back and not in help? But Brooke Lopez has got to get up and guard still. Like, this is Steph Curry. What do you... I mean, the Bucks' transition defense is a special kind of awful. Like, this is... A... Brooke Lopez, you can't stand in the middle of nowhere. Find someone to guard. You're standing in. You can't do this. <laughs> Bucks switch here. Could Bobby Portis on this switch? Please just guard and don't gamble. You have help in the middle of the floor. You're not even, look at this, immediately coming up to gamble. So you're gone and you must communicate in transition defense. Doc Rivers, you must communicate in transition defense. This is a Doc Rivers thing. Giannis is taking the ball. So who does Bobby Portis want to guard? Trace Jackson Davis, fine. Say something, please. So Connaughton knows to get to Kuminga. You're clearly not communicating this because Connaughton got back to where? Bobby Portis, first of all, on the switch, obviously you're opening up to the baseline, force Chris Paul to the middle of the floor where there's help. The main problem is look at Bobby Portis' eyes right here, looking for a screen to be set. You'd be switching that screen anyways, and now you're giving up an open three. The Bucks make the simplest stuff complicated. This is a basic switch. Now, did you talk about this? Malik Beasley, Giannis, every time we're switching. Doesn't look like it because Malik Beasley switches over the top and late as he goes towards the ball for an extra second. Now Pat Connaughton's got to stay in backside help, so that's not a lob, and Clay Thompson flies off a down screen. If Brooke Lopez is going to double here, first of all, don't just stand in the charge circle aimlessly under the rim. Come over and actually double, and then you'd rotate. Connaughton would go to the corner, Portis to the wing, Beasley to the top of the key, and Damian Lillard would end up on Clay Thompson. But Brooke Lopez is not really doubling. He's just standing in the middle of nowhere. No one rotates. Shot goes up. This is a coaching thing. This is Jay Crowder. Sprint back. You are not going for the offensive rebound. Bobby Portis should be getting back. I mean, both just staring at the ball. So now everyone's backpedaling back. And now Clay Thompson. This is just disgusting. Brooke Lopez is playing up on the screen. Awesome. Get up and connected to Draymond Green. This is unbelievable. Like, I got to be up right now. You have backside help right there. Damian Lillard, Jay Crowder. I've got to get up right now and close this area off. Steph Curry, if he splits through, it's over. Look at how much space you're giving him to split through. Wow. Jay Crowder is fine here. Why do the Bucs make easy stuff hard? Malik Beasley's in help. You're giving Steph Curry the angle right here. And you're showing your hands and sliding your feet. So why all of a sudden do you decide, okay, let's start to gamble now. And now, pfft. Maybe the box can work on transition defense next year. This year is a complete garbage can. Giannis, you got to take the nearest body. That's Trace Jackson Davis and communicate it. Bobby Porter's going to come up and take Steph Curry. 
Like you're getting to the middle of nowhere and communicating while this pass is being made to have someone take Trace Jackson Davis. You're not even sort of ready to guard right now. Why is this not an instant switch? Malik Beasley, Pat Connaughton. What is there to think about? What even is that? The Bucks just make the simplest stuff impossible. This is a basic switch again. Pat Beverly, I must get underneath the screener on the switch. You are switching over the top. So now Giannis has to step up and backside help, and we have problems. I mean, this, I can't even, you see middle school teams with better transition defense than this. Damian Lillard, you have to take Draymond Green here. You, there's, you cannot be communicating to have A.J. Green take him it, while the play's going on. That is, what in the world is Bobby Portis doing? Could you please stay in front of Kuminga with your back to the baseline seeing ball and man? What even do you think was going to happen here? I mean, what's Brooke Lopez doing? You're guarding Brandon Podzemski. Why are you communicating for someone else to take Podzemski? So you're just going to give up a wide open three for no reason. How about A.J. Green? Like, you're, you're, get Trace Jackson Davis out of the paint. Get low and battle for position now so I can box out. So you give up an open three, and then A.J. Green staring at the ball. Damian Lillard certainly could do a better job here, getting his feet set and then sprinting up with Moses Moody as he lifts to the wing. But he's doing a pretty solid job here one-on-one. -on -one. Why is Brooke Lopez all the way over in the paint helping? If that's going to happen, though, Giannis, you got to get over and you got to rotate to Draymond Green. You'll leave Podzemski on the weak side wing because A.J. Green can rotate out of this, and then Brooke Lopez would just come to Trace Jackson Davis. But Brooke Lopez is doubling for no reason, and no one rotates. Brooke Lopez is accomplishing nothing here. What You're not in a defensive stance. You're in the paint. For Why can't you get out and guard Draymond Green? Why are you just standing in the paint aimlessly? Uh, 